Hey there, Sanko, everybody. Welcome back for another amazing video. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that's a very much near topic. Why is Bitcoin crashing right now, 2022, May? Why did Bitcoin crash? Why is it still crashing? Is it going to still crash? What to do next? Let's get this video started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna mention the stuff, uh, the, the the reasons why, and they'll come up here in, in detailed explanation. So, first thing is due to COVID and due to the hyperinflation, we're talking about some countries from seven to fifteen percent inflation, which is ridiculous amounts. When you look at even the Western countries, developed countries are having hyperinflation, and because of the hyperinflation, uh, there's a lot of in security about what's really going to happen with uh, the future of any market and so that's why you're seeing not only crypto fell stocks fell real estate fell gold fell so you know inflation pushed it but now okay that's triggered it but to on top of the inflation the government in in, in america and other countries have increased interest rates to relax inflation and that makes sense in macroeconomics now if you're taking economics it's starting to make sense to you but if you haven't taken economics, it's a six hour to 12 hour course, which, which I can do later on. Anywho, so to reduce inflation, there's interest increases. Now, because interest is increasing, that means also interest based incomes, such as bonds and other formats, their return on investment is also going up. So because uh, fixed income investments are going up in return, people are like, well, it's just better for me to put it into fixed income. It's not as risky and I'll make you know a better return than before so people are taking money out of these different markets and putting it into fixed income markets and that's why there's also a, a pull from not only stocks crypto you know all these other markets even real estate has taken effect so this is what started in and you know what's continuously making the the, the market fall on top of this second thing which everybody knows about russia and ukraine now due to russia and ukraine again insecurity instability we don't know what's going on so i'm going to pull out of the market and i want to keep it out of the market until everything relaxes but on top of that due to the war with russia uh, oil supply has decreased oil supply decreased pushing the demand is still equal supply is down pushing prices up and due to pu pushing the prices up uh, on on uh, on oil there's a push and increase of price in everything because everything is directly affected by um oil prices why because oil is a key to supply chain so any of your products that need to come from anywhere even food that they get affected by oil because somebody has to bring it right there needs to be some transportation involved so due to that people are also pulling out of the markets they don't know what's going on and you know with the recent also with the saudi and, and america conflict with the whole oil oil stuff there's a lot of instability, again, pushing towards people to get out of the markets. Number three, a lot of um, institutions and veils are jumping out of the market. And because of the other things that, you know, that they're jumping out of the market, institutions that had uh, promised to be part of the crypto uh, ecosystem say we're going to make it. It's our cash flows. They agreed. They did it in the initial stages. But since they saw some instability, they, they pulled out really quickly. And um, and, and according to CoinShares.com, uh, there's uh, a lot of institutions that had cash flow of crypto and they stopped adding more to the cash flow or be directly liquidated. Obviously, when big bulls and big sorry big whales and big holders release into the market and sell. There's a huge sell pressure that's a, that makes things crash now all this stuff combined with what, what's going on with ust with terra luna's usd and also terra luna itself if you don't know what's going on with uh, terra luna it's an entire explanation of its own but very quickly terra luna had a pegged us dollar to it they had i would say probably not the best practices to peg uh, uh, to peg the, um, the dollar to the usd and, and because they did that, and because they didn't have the right backends to it, the uh, the recent uh, crash of the market uh, has affected its UST. People that means even more people are going to sell, and Terra Luna is also falling. That means even more people are going to sell. So it wasn't the best practice to put into algorithms to keep a dollar pegged. With all of these things combined, and also with China recently, uh, you know, 
uh, showing not the best uh, appreciation towards crypto with its uh, attack on the miners, with it, with it uh, uh, cracking down on ICOs, I, uh, IDOs and IPOs. It's affecting the market. All in all, these are the reasons. And yeah, the market is going down. It is a bear market. Very, very adamantly, we can see that the market has uh, started to slope down. And we've been talking about this on my social media. I've talked about this on, uh, on my other channels. Um, but what's next? I would say if you're someone who's part of this institution, sorry, part of this ecosystem and understands crypto, then you've seen 2017. You've seen six months ago, we've already hit 27,000K and we back, went back up to 65. So you know cyclical and cycles happen. So don't panic. But if you're not new, sorry, if you're new and if you're not used to this and you don't know what you're doing really, you just jumped into the market because somebody said so and you're having a hard time sleeping at night, panic and do what makes you sleep at night because that's the best decision. Would I personally sell off in this times? No. Would I maybe buy it? I might wait till maybe hit, wait until BTC hits maybe 20, uh, 23, 24K because that's probably the lowest troll in the recent, um, you know, last major cycle. And, and I'll wait till then and then I'll jump back in because I know in the long run, BTC and other cryptos are going to go up. Will Terra Luna go up? That's something you're gonna have to check out because they are working on a uh, like a recovery plan and um, and all that stuff for Terra Luna. So that's something, and that's a different conversation. Should you be uh, worried about it crashing and all be going burning away? In my understanding and my experience, and in me being part of this whole technical, not just the investing side, but also the technical field, no blockchain is here to stay there's a lot of projects a lot of futuristic developments in technology that are backed by blockchain and crypto so i'm not worried about it in that sense i'm just thinking this is going to be another cycle we've seen this happen before and it's going to go back up but if you're someone who's panicking and it's not helping you uh, sleep at night and it's stressing the crap out of you mind my friends do what makes you sleep at night because that's the most important thing and also as i've said before take profits and hedge and, and, uh, and put in your stop losses. And if you guys had done that, then you shouldn't be panicking. This is probably uh, gonna be a good time for you to buy that because you've put, put in your stop losses, and you had taken your profits, you're already in profits, stop losses were hit, you were out of the system, and now you're able to buy back in cheaper. So this was my two cents on the current uh, currencies of the market. Do your research, feel confident, feel comfortable with your decisions and take actions on them. As always, take care of yourself, like, share, subscribe, check out my other social medias, and hit that bell notification icon for new updates. Salaamu Alaikum. Do subscribe, like, share, hit that bell icon for notifications. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content. I'll be uploading more stuff in all of these social media websites. Thanks. Take care. Salaam.